All right, guys, what's up? Not much. As you can see, we got some Terpskis here to compare. Um, we have our very nice turbo that costs a lot of money. Ah, first, our very cheap, poor people turbo. Woo! <laughs> okay, um, so yeah, I just really wanted to go over kind of the differences between each two. Disclaimer, you might hear some thunder and lightning in the background. It is thundering. That's what we do when we're bored. We sit inside and make YouTube videos during thunderstorms. So, you know, that's where I'm at with my life. Okay, so I guess let's start off. This right here, obviously, this is the pretty piece in the picture. This is your expensive brand new turbo. Um, this is a precision, it costs a lot of money. This is a $150 eBay turbo that is very small, obviously representative sample. You can see that this one is bigger than this one. Um, and it's, not that much money and this turbo in the back is going to be representative of a gt35 um ebay turbo i do not have a gt35 ebay turbo just laying around these are the pieces i have laying around so these are just going to be representative samples of what we have because i don't just have 20 turbos laying around these are all i have we'll make the video on this okay so i guess the biggest thing picking on a turbo well i guess in this situation between nice and cheap is how much money you have because this is kind of the biggest difference between the two um this is well over a thousand dollars this is under two hundred dollars and same thing with this back here the gt35r copy this is well under two hundred dollars too so i mean almost it comes down to the point you could probably buy 10 of these before you could buy one of those um so I guess that's kind of the biggest difference between the two is price. Second, I would say is like, if I was trying to pick out between these turbos of which one to get is what's my power zone. That's kind of the next important thing to look at. Um, this turbo right here is going to be like a GT 30 copy, something small. Obviously you can see the inlet on this is nowhere near as big as the inlet on this one. Um, our GT 35 R copy in the back is going to have the same size inlet as this, you know, same size wheel. So these two will be the same size wise, but this one obviously is a lot smaller because it's obviously not made for as much horsepower. Um, so I would say this, figure out your horsepower zone of what you're trying to make. If you're trying to make mm, 300, 350, this is probably your boy to pick. Um, it's small, it's gonna spool quick, you know, it is what it is. Now, if your horsepower zone is like 500, 550, your GT35R copy off eBay will get you there. Now, if you're going for 800, <laughs> these probably will not work. You're probably gonna have to get something like this. And two, if you have the money to afford to go to 800, you probably can't afford this. Um, getting to 500 on like a stock K-series, pretty easy. Um, you, I mean, I, I've taken bone stock K-series up to 500 all day um, on a GT35R copy. Um, it'll do it, 550, you, you can probably still do that too, but anything over 550, you're probably pushing it. Now, obviously another thing, let's talk about visual differences is the turbo wheels. Um, this one is made out of, I guess, steel, and this is a nice billet wheel. Um, these have a lot to do with spool times. Now, biggest question, everybody's like, well, you know, hey, the cheap turbo is not going to spool as fast as this nice one. Correct. It isn't. Um, but now what's, what's the biggest difference we're talking about here? Are we talking about a you know, 20 second difference in spool time. Are we talking three seconds? The, the spool time is not gonna be that big of a difference. It's really gonna be a couple hundred RPMs, like comparing servo to, you know, size to size, cause we, you know, we have a GT35R versus a, you know, precision copy. I mean, well, not a precision copy, a real precision. Um, the spool times are probably gonna be pretty close. Like, this turbo will probably spool maybe 500, 600 RPMs faster. Um, so not a crazy difference, but it is gonna spool faster. But I mean, then again, this, this costs 150, this costs well over a grand. So depends on what you're doing here. Um, 
Same thing with this small turbo here. This is going to spool probably faster than all of these just because this turbo is smaller and it doesn't make as much horsepower. So that's something to look at too, depending on, you know, what you're going to get. Fitment wise, that's another thing you got to look at. This will fit in a lot smaller area. These are the same size, so they'll fit in the same thing. All these turbos come in T3 manifolds. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but if not, Google it, you'll figure it out. Um, meaning they'll bolt up to the manifold the same. So this turbo comes in T3, this comes in T3, this comes in T3. They all fit, they all fit the same manifold. So that's also something to make sure when you're picking out a turbo. But now we've went over price difference because that's kind of a big thing. Power difference. Obviously that's, you know, pretty figured out. And then two, I mean, lastly, I would probably say reliability. Now, that's what everybody wants to know. Will this last with this? And the answer is no, it's not. Um, now, not always. That's another thing to look at too. So let's figure this out now because reliability wise, this is probably going to last longer. Probably. Now, something to look at. This and our GT35R copy in the back here, these are probably going to go out before this one will. Um, once again, to figure, you know, to figure out how mechanically inclined are you, you know, realistically, if you brought one of these turbos and it went out, just buy another one for $150 and put it in your car. Um, it's not that big of a deal. If this goes out, um, it's not just as simple as taking off four bolts and bolting this thing and buying and then putting on another one. Um, you're probably going to not throw away your precision turbo. You're probably going to rebuild it. Now that's something to look at. Rebuilding this turbo probably cost as much as these turbos realistically to buy the parts to rebuild this nice turbo. So if you were in a situation where you needed to rebuild your turbo, I don't even think they make rebuild kits for this, honestly. So it's just, let's just say we're just going to buy a new one. It's probably going to cost about the same to rebuild this as it does this. That's also, that's also something to look into. Um, but then again, as far as like, you know, reliability wise, I've had the, I've had, actually, I haven't had this small of a turbo on any of my cars personally, but I have had GT35R copies on my cars before in the past. Um, I mean, a couple off camera cars, even, um, the EP3 that we did last, I mean, that was like last year, that had GT35R copy, made plenty power, no problems. Um, you know, I have not put this on a car yet. This probably will go on the BMW. Um, Cause this is probably, this will probably get us in that, you know, seven, 800 horsepower range. That's probably what we're going for, something along that. Um, hmm. But yeah, so I guess that's kind of the biggest three things I would say is just, price, reliability, and power zone. That's really what you need to focus on between, I guess, let's say real and fake and fake in the back because this is representative. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Sorry guys, um, any, any next videos you guys wanna see, let me know, we will make them with representative samples because this is all I have. I don't have a lot of stuff because I'm not rich. But, all right guys, got any more videos you wanna see, let me know. Um, projects are coming along pretty good. I don't know where we're at, but we'll see later.